Good morning, everybody, and welcome to today's Theological Leftovers. Sorry, my little thing is, I'll take it down. Sorry about that. Uh, I, I have a hodgepodge of things today, nothing terribly uh, theological, um, but a lot of just odds and ends that I want to make sure, especially the members of our congregation and people in the Evansville area are aware of. A lot of neat opportunities coming up um, that I, I guess I want to advertise today. Before I do that book review, um, I have been reading um, Dr. John Kleinig's book, Grace Upon Grace. Excellent. Highly recommend it. So book recommendation. Very, very good. Um, I know some of the ladies and our, our ladies, this is, this is a bit ahead of time, but um, I know the next Bible study that the ladies are going to be doing is, well, the next book discussion that the ladies are going to be doing is uh, Dietrich Bonhoeffer's, Bonhoeffer's Life Together. Um, once you're done with that, if, if that whets your appetite um, for that particular topic, then I would encourage you maybe to pick up this book, uh, Grace Upon Grace by Dr. John Kleinig. I think they'll fit together really, really well. Um, I've learned a lot, learned a lot. So uh, that's the book recommendation. Uh, the other things are just upcoming events. Uh, this coming week, um, depending on when you watch this, August 20th, 21st, 22nd, from 5 to 7, we're over at Jacob's Village doing our annual Camp Connect. Used to be a day camp, but evening works a little bit better for them. So uh, three days or three evenings, we're going to be getting together with them, doing devotions, singing, praying, eating, um, just enjoying one another's company. Um, we have a great group going out there, and the folks out there at Jacob's Village are awesome, so so we know we're going to have a really good time. We have plenty of people. Um but if you've never done it before and you're here in the area, um, we want to uh, invite you to come. Just let me know ahead of time um, so we may have plenty of uh, snacks, stuff like that. Um, but we would love to, to have you experience Camp Connect. I think I have lost track, but I, I mean, we've been doing it for at least 15 years, I think. Um, and, and it's just gotten better and better. So um, you're invited to join us. Next, um, on September 21st, we're having a cookout, and we're going to be inviting the neighbors to come. But this is not just a couple of our folks inviting the um, the neighborhood, but we're really trying to get our congregation and the neighborhood uh, together, getting to know one another. Um, that's the whole purpose. A little bit of food, a little bit of camaraderie, um, just talk about neighborhood stuff and um, and develop some friendships there. Um, that's September 21st, so a Saturday. Um, if you want more information about that, just contact the church, and we'd be happy to, to let you know more about that. And then, October 19th, um, I'm very excited with um, our second annual Life Together workshop. We have four great speakers coming. Dr. Groving is coming from the seminary in Fort Wayne. Um, we have uh, Kathy Witto coming from Lutheran Child and Family Services out of Indy. Um, and then we also have Heath and Rebecca Curtis um, coming to join us. So we have four speakers this year, and uh, it's going to be great. We are talking um, about uh, our life together, which is never easy in the body of Christ. Um, even when we have the best of intentions, um, there are times when our individual experiences are so completely different from one another that it, it can become difficult for us to relate in a healthy way. Um, so these workshops are designed to help the Christian overcome those things that sometimes cause confusion, or uh, not confusion, but cause their brothers and sisters in Christ to be isolated or even alienated from their local congregation. And ironically, the, the truth is sometimes, um, sometimes even though it, I don't think you're ever going to run into a congregation that doesn't say, we want families, we want young families, the reality is sometimes the way the church goes about it actually isn't particularly helpful for the Christian family. Um, for example, that's trying to, to stay together. Um, we've, we've, well, I'll let them talk about it, but, but we want to deal with this kind of tension between, um, that sometimes exists between the Christian family trying to be Christian and family and the Christian congregation that's trying to offer things to them, but, but sometimes doesn't quite understand the need. Um, and we've, we've got some really qualified folks to, to talk about it. So that's October 19th. Um, our registration deadline is the end of August, but 
but technically we're just probably going to keep going. But sooner than later, let us know that you're planning to come because there's breakfast, there's dinner. And because of that, there's also a registration fee of $15. You want more information on that, uh, let us know. And um, again, give us a call, send us a note, and we'll, we'll share information with you. But this is going to be a really, really good workshop. And then um, our whole LCMS community in our two circuits, what we call our Evansville circuits, are going to be gathering together for a Reformation Festival on October 27th, which will include, of course, um, a worship service and then also dinner afterwards. It's going to be at St. Paul's. Very excited about that one as well. So um, lots of stuff coming up between now and October and wanted to make you um, aware of all those wonderful opportunities. It seems like there was something else that didn't make it onto my list. And I can't think of what it was. Rats. Well, if I think of it, I'll, uh, I'll let you know. Um, but I hope that you'll be able to participate in some of these wonderful opportunities. Um, in the meantime, um, I'm recording this kind of late on a Saturday, which means tomorrow is Sunday, which means we have Bible class at 9 o'clock. We have the Divine Service at 1030. Um, we hope that you will join us. If you're not in the Evansville area, we hope that you will find a faithful, confessional Lutheran church. Get there and enjoy the gifts that that God wants to give you. God bless you all. And God bless your week.